everyone. In this video, we're going to be talking about an overview of job applications, because this is, again, the third part of storytelling in GPD. So storytelling in terms of job applications is what I call strategic marketing. So how do you market yourself? So there's always the cover letter, which is your letter of intent. It's why do you want to work there. And there are also two other documents, there's the CV and the resume. And for those that are going on to academia, there's also another document, which is called the diversity statement, which we'll go, on, uh, go over in, in another video. So CV or resume, what's the difference? So the CV is what we're all used to in academia. It's the list of everything that you've ever done, education, conferences, extracurriculars, everything. And there's no page limit. Okay. Now, in a resume, resume, which most industries look for or ask for, is general rule of thumb is one page for 10 years of experience. So usually a student, if you're graduating with a degree, is usually one page. Okay. So how do you do that? How do you take your work and distill it down into one page? And that's where we talk about car statements or the impact statements on storytelling that. But before we get into how to write your resume, let's talk about how to read the job description. Because reading the job description is very important in crafting the letter of intent or the cover letter. Okay. So I'm going to illustrate with an example, which I'm going to show here on um, the internet. So what I did was I went to Indeed and I looked up some uh, biotech jobs and something that just came up was a biotech scientist at SGS Canada. Okay, they are urgently hiring. If you go down here, it tells uh, the reader a, a little bit about SGS, what they do. They have 97,000 employees, 2,600 offices and labs around the world. And they are uh, a leader in providing inspection and verification, testing and certification services. Okay. So then they have a little blurb on what's the day in the life of a biotech scientist at SGS Canada. So they're, meth they're responsible for method development, complex decision making, uh, providing guidance and overseeing analysts, responsible for leading technical discuss discussions with clients executing experiments, write and review technical data, and assist in failure investigations. Okay. So then they have what an ideal candidate should have. So a BSc or an MSc with five years of relevant laboratory work experience required, ability to perform routine and complex bench and instrumental analysis, a willingness to learn, experience in computer programming programs, and they have the example of Excel and Word, an ability to work well under pressure. Okay, and extended hours and shift work is required. And here's some additional information. So what you want to do as a reader is you want to go through the ideal candidate and also their day in the life. Um, sometimes they call it uh, duties and responsibilities. And you want to classify these skills as either technical skills or what I call other core competency skills. So, for example, method validation and development, I would put a T next to it, because that's a technical skill. But for complex decision making, that's what I put a C next to it, because that's a core competency skill. And I make a list, and I put C's and C's all over here. And then I make sure with all of these, I'm going to address it in my resume. Okay. So. Then I'm also going to go to their website. Okay, this is their website. And this tells you what they do, our analytical, bioanalytical, and clinical test, trial testing, along with process management capabilities, provide a wide range of essential services. And then you can go into here and see what kind of services they provide. So having a little bit of information, actually um, a lot of information about the company is going to help you write the cover letter on how you can help them. Okay. So this is for an MSc, BSc role. Now let's say you're a PhD student um, and you are, so here's an example of a biotech company called Cyclica. 
they are driving drug discovery. And let's say you're going to apply for one of their jobs here as, as an application scientist. What you want to do is you want to go to About Us, figure out their core values, their team. You want to go to their news, their press releases, their blogs, read all that. Read about all of their technology, read about their documentation, and specifically publications. So as a PhD scientist, you should be able to understand all of these publications. And then you should be able to use this information to craft a cover letter and a resume that is specific to what their needs are. Okay. So here's another example of another company, a company I used to work for called DNA Software. Go to their products, who we are, um, and then again under who we are, they have a story, they have a publication list. So you want to go to their publication list and read about what they do before you um, write your cover letter. So then if we go to um, some of these examples, you're going to have jobs, again, you're going to outline which skills are technical, okay, and I label that as T, and what others are looking for other um, core competencies. And I go ahead and label that as C. So examples of T could be um, running ELISA's, CRISPR-Cas9 techniques, and then core competencies could be problem solving or communications, uh, teamwork, managing others, empowering others. So these are the things that you want to address on your resume and on your cover letter. Okay. So in my next video, I'm going to be talking about um, how to write that. So in video number 11, I'm going to be talking about how to write an impactful resume knowing how to read the job description.